just enough time to get where I gotta go. We'll go down here, open the gate. You ever have a weird feeling you're gonna accomplish a goal you didn't even really realize you had? I think it's gonna be a good day. Can't be bad, right? It's a little windy this morning, I'm sure you can hear it. I've jumped a dough so far this morning. I'm hoping to come up over this little rise right here and blast that mountain for a bit and see what I come up with. Hey, what's up guys? All heck up here. I just got to my one of my first glasses spot just after uh, It is so windy, I don't know if it's going to turn out at all, but if it does, thank you very much. I jumped uh, one doe so far this morning, coming through the brush when I almost, I got about within 15 feet of her and about stepped on her and she busted out, but I'm still not seeing much bear sign. I know they're here, they got to be here, it's too good of a spot. Plenty of acorns, plenty of berries on the ground, but with uh, the amount of deer I've been seeing, I don't know if there's any predators around right now, but I'll turn this around and let you get a look at what I'm looking at. Hopefully we can spot something here pretty soon. Some sign of life, I guess. Oops. I didn't hear that. Drop my shooting sticks. I was wrong. It's a little spike. It's not a doe. Hey buddy, I'm here to protect you today. Help me find a bear. There we go. It ended up being him and a doe with two yearlings down when he bumped down the hill. Huh, at least that's something. Any sign of life is good. So that last spot was a bust. It was just too damn windy. I couldn't sit still there. Windy and cold. I moved over to this other spot. It's still a little windy, but where I'm sitting is kind of out of it. I'm, I'm down in this little swale. It's a good little glassing spot. 
So yeah, we're gonna sit here and watch this big mountainside for a while. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do anything about it if I see anything, cause A, that's a steep bitch, and B, it's gonna be a long poke if I do get to see something over there. But at least I'll see something if I if I do. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I busted out a handful of deer. Saw one of my buddies pulling up the road down from where I came from. And he sat and watched me walk up the hill for a little ways. So, <laughs> hey Matt, how's it going? But yeah, we're gonna sit here and get the spotter out and see what I can find. Hopefully I find something. This is a pretty pretty cool spot. There's lots of lots of oak shrubs on this side hill I'm looking at and lots of uh, buck brush and choke cherries. So there ought to be some bears in here somewhere. There's plenty of berries around. Plenty of acorns. It's just weird I haven't seen in all the trips I've been out so far, I haven't seen hardly any sign. It's just weird. I know they're here. I'm seeing all their all their food that they need, plenty of water, so they got to be here. But there's just deer everywhere, so I can't imagine there being this many deer concentrated in all these spots if there's a large predator around. It doesn't make sense to me, but I'm new at bear hunting, so what the hell do I know? Yeah, we, uh, I was, I was going to go to a different spot this morning and last minute something in my brain told me, hey, go check out this other spot that you've been wanting to check out. That other spot will still be there on a different day. So, came back up the mountain over here to a different spot I've been threatening to hike into for the last couple seasons. On the one side, I know there's deer in here now, so that's good. So, yeah. I'm gonna shut my mouth here for a little bit and see if I can't spot something on this side hill. Thanks for watching everybody. Hey, you're never going to believe it. I finally spotted a damn bear. <laughs> but as soon as I saw him, I went and grabbed the grabbed up my spotter and as soon as I got back on him, he disappeared into the thick timber up there, but I'll I'll try to show you just a idea of where he was at. There's no way I could have gotten to him about like what I thought. He's like easy 1000 yards away. And it's a steep, steep trek to get up to where he was at. Or it would be like an all-day hike to skirt around the top of the canyon and come down on him. And I'm not sure exactly where he went to, except for into the thick stuff. So I'm not going to push the issue. I'll have to come back and uh, see if I can find him again. I'm going to sit and study my onyx a little bit and see if I can't figure out exactly how to get to where he's at. But hey, I saw one. That's a step in the right direction. I've been sitting here glassing for about an hour and 20 minutes or so. and I finally turned one up just as he was disappearing into the, into the trees. I was hoping I could try to finagle a look through the spotting scope, but it's not going to work spend all this money on a phone scope adapter and then you leave the damn thing home. It's about, about sums up how my hunting season's gone so far. All right, I'm gonna try to show you where he was at. And then I'm probably gonna try to sneak back out of here without making too much racket. And uh, 
it's about the tail end of seeing stuff light anyways. Alright, so I was glassing and glassing and glassing. And he I can't uh you see where the those pines come to a the opening in the pines come to a triangle right there in the middle of the screen kinda. He was working his way down through the top of that little clearing. Just right on the edge of the tree line and he disappeared down into those trees heading down the hill. Going into that canyon right there, right above that little peak. The last place I saw him was about 100 yards before you would get to that peak, roughly. I mean, just a guesstimate. But, yeah, he went down to that canyon somewhere. So, that's been my morning. How's your morning been? All right, well, we're finally back to the truck. Um, yeah, it was a good little hike. This is not, not where I plan on going today. Um, but you ever get one of those feelings that, hey, you should probably abandon that first plan and do something else instead. I didn't know what it was telling me, but that's what I did. It turned out okay this morning. We finally saw something. Been a lot of trips up here uh, that have been pretty anticlimactic. I know I said I was gonna try to do a video a day during bear season, but it's just been brutal not seeing anything. It didn't make for very good content, just me talking to myself, which you see enough, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it didn't turn out too bad. A couple miles on the boots today and packed out somebody else's garbage because which is the kind of guy I am. And, uh, yeah, saw a handful of deer. Did finally spot a bear, so I'm doing something, something halfway okay. I, uh, just need to be in a better spot. Or, uh, I need a helicopter or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I did run into one issue today. My favorite hunting pants are officially way too big. And my belt that I'd like to wear is officially too big. <laughs> Both quality issues, I'm not gonna lie, but it did make for a shitty hike trying to pull my pants up every 10 steps. So, looks like I get to jump back online and try to find some new hunting pants. So, I got that going for me, which is nice. But, uh, yeah, it was a great morning. Thank you guys for tuning in. I, I hope you're watching anyways. If you're not, just click the thumbs up and hit the share button and uh, keep me in the, in the algorithm. Keep, <laughs> let my videos be seen by somebody, I suppose. But yeah, no, I appreciate you guys. I know I know a handful of you are watching them. So that makes me feel good. All right, well, I'm going to head down the mountain now and uh, see if I can hunt me down a cup of coffee. A little chilly up here this morning, but it's a good morning nonetheless. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, if you got, once again, if you guys have uh, suggestions for a name for the hunting channel that I'm doing. Drop them in the comments. Um, yeah, until then, we'll see you next time. Have fun, guys.